In today's class, we're going to be going over principle number three, emptying an opponent's strike or block. For me, I see it more as just emptying in general, because you can empty someone's kick, empty their grab, empty their punch, but it's the idea of emptying their energy. Number one and number three tend to go hand in hand. As you can imagine, if you're evading some uh, an energy, full energy, you're getting out of the way, you're, or you're yielding. And then you could also, if let's say you make contact with the block, but you also yield and you empty it out. My Sifu's definition is, the primary concept is to make contact and allow the opponent to empty and take control of the opponent's hand. And in parentheses, you put, I don't empty him. And Sifu Hughes, one of the things that I liked that he put in there was going with the flow. So there's a concept of constantly going with the flow, feeling the energy. So even when you block and you feel like you're blocking hard energy, then kind of like you're yielding to it, but more like you're just allowing that energy to continue on through. So for him, he wrote down empty strike, block, kick, or grab. So the techniques that we'll practice today that also embody that is 14 road number nine, is chow choy, and then clearing, you're clearing the energy upwards. Once they block, they usually do an upper block, and then you're clearing that block up, and then you're drilling. But it's that clearing part of allowing their upward block to continue along that path. One of the best drills to learn that concept of emptying someone's block is ala choy, hing choy, bung choy. So once you do that ally choy, when that person does an inside block, and then you wipe underneath, it's that wipe that you're clearing, you're emptying that energy. Then the hing choy, once they block, or once you strike and they do that inside block as well, you're trapping them, and you're pushing their arm in the same direction as already going, and then you do that back fist. There's ally choy waist chop. So when you do ally choy, the same thing. They do the inside block, and then you grab their arm, clear it out, and you do a waist chop. Same thing for a millstone palm waist chop. You also see it in the ending of many roads. Chow choy, jam you. So you do that chow choy, they do an upper block, and you're riding that arm up, you're allowing it to empty, and then you launch them or break their ribs. Tu sao is another one. If someone does a heel kick, the low roundhouse, here, like in 18 masters, 18 elders, when you go back around like that, as if they're kicking, and then you're just going to continue, you're going to empty their kick as you go, and their kick just continues going forward. That's why I like Sifu Hu's slight description of it, of going with the flow. So you're feeling the flow of the energy, and you're trying to go along with that. So you might need to um, use principle number one along with it to yield out of the way. You obviously don't want the energy to hit you, so you might need to yield, move out of the way, avoid that full force, but then allow that energy to keep going, to empty out that energy. One of the major prerequisites of principle number three is the skill of sensitivity. How well can you feel the energy? So the first technique I'm gonna work on is, we'll start with an easy one, 14 road number nine. Um, that one is chow choy here, then clear and drilling fist. So one and two. I like this one because it's a fast one as they, you're checking their arm out of the way and then you do an uppercut and as that arm goes up, you're clearing and then you're drilling into that horse stance. So shot lane bar for a second. So where arms are crossed over here, I'm knocking this arm out of the way and I want my hand to go up here. So this arm, this chow choy, is trying to get this arm to go all the way up. So as it goes up, I clear and then I strike towards that stomach. So again here, clear and strike. But that once, the most important part is this arm going up, I'm trying to clear that energy. So her energy is going up and I wanna clear that in that same direction and then strike. So that's the principle, okay? So we'll work on just going one and two. Back to set, one and two. But the main goal is to feel that clear into that drilling fist. Go. That's it. Ready, go. Good. Go. Next one, ala choy, hing choy, bung choy. We've all done this one. We'll go right forward, ala choy. But I want you to think about, all right, when I do that um, punch, person's doing an inside block, I'm gonna grab and empty it, 
Heng Choi as they block there. I'm going to trap them because the energy is going the other way and back fist and back set. Ally Choi, think about that clear, then that trap for that back fist. All right, from the side view, Ally Choi, grab Heng Choi, trap Bung Choi, and back set. We'll go 30 seconds, and this time we're going full application speed. So I'm just trying to think Ally Choi, Heng Choi, Bung Choi. Ala Choi, Hing Choi, Bung Choi. Okay, but I'm still trying to emphasize the grab and the trap itself. Ala Choi, Hing Choi, and Bung Choi. Okay, so we'll go 30 seconds. Getting ready. And begin. Ala Choi, Hing Choi, Bung Choi. Last one we'll do is, let's see, Milso Palm Waist Chop. That one's pretty easy, it's just like Alan Choi Waist Chop. Millstone Palm, and that person's doing that inside block, and that's where you clear underneath for that waist chop. All right, so Millstone Palm, you feel that block here. The moment you feel that block, you're gonna release that. You're gonna let your arm cave in, so that way you can grab for that waist chop. Okay, so let's go 30 seconds. Let's start off on that right side. Getting ready, and begin. So um, let's go over some of the, the concepts or some of the techniques. Uh, um, we're not going to do a game this time, but it, what techniques from Yao Lang did you guys find that applies to principle number three and being the opponent strike or block? We talked about this uh, sharing hand because you're, a, you're just moving the force and at the same time you're striking. Yeah, or just like this that part one. actually. Mm -hmm. It's a... Uh, once you're here, you're emptying it, and then you're grabbing. Essentially, that energy is coming in. You're clearing it, and then you're striking. That strike, um, obviously, that's what you want to do eventually. But it's this clearing, yes, yes sure. that emptying of their punch. Great job. It's the first part of that ala choy. Is that actually uh, diverting their energy? Hey, that's a good one. Okay, I really haven't thought about that one. Uh, just because usually you're plucking it. So there's like this hard element to it. But yes, if you're just first riding it along and going with the energy, and especially in a Mantis Exit the Cave, there's that when we do this ally choy here and you're diffusing into that twisting stance and you're using your stance as well to, di to diffuse it and then you're striking over the top. So yes, um, that one definitely applies. So great job. This one, Bung Sao. Bung Sao? Hmm. Just direct, I mean, somebody's coming at you, just uh, redirecting the force to the side. Yeah, it's, we want to think of more of emptying. Uh, if you step off to the side, so yes, because it goes along with principle number one as well. So you're stepping mm -hmm. in here and the energy, you're just guiding it just slightly off. Um, the pushing part, once you launch them, that no longer applies to that specific mm -hmm. principle. But yes, you are emptying their strike. So yeah. Good. What about do so? <laughs> so if someone is punching and I intercept and I shift my weight back, the energy, even though this is also yielding, I'm getting out of the way, I'm evading full force, but I'm also emptying if their energy is going that direction. So if I'm shifting my weight back and I grab and I pluck them, then yes, you're plucking them in the same direction that they're going anyways. So then that also applies to uh, principle number three. So it's principle number one of evading, and principle number three of allowing their energy to keep going in that same direction. If you think of it like that, if a deuce out is like straight to the side, 90 degree angle, then no. But good. I was gonna say, what about the toppling kick? Is that pulling them across and then pushing? Yes, exactly. I was hoping to see if anyone got that one. So you got this chow choy here. You check their arm, but once you do that uppercut, you feel that arm, oh, whether they do an upper block or they do an inside block, Oh, now you have them set up. So you grab that arm, wham, and you throw them. The throw, that's just a hard, you're just chucking them, but it's this leaking, this, you're grabbing the arm and you're letting it diffuse out of the way in the same direction that it's going. And then you use that to throw them. So yes, okay. great answer.